Assalamualaikum viewers welcome to my channel NTS Guru this lecture is part 2 of parallel lines and transversal from geometry in this lecture I will discuss some of the questions which repeats in different competitive exams by keeping concepts of part 1 lecture question number 1 is what is the average of A, B, C and D what is the average of A, B, C and D in this diagram? As you see, this is a straight line. So, sum of angles in a straight line is, equal, is always equal to 180 degree. So, sum of A plus B plus C plus D equal to 180 degree. As these are 4 angles, so 180 divided by 4 equal to 45 degree. So each angle in the straight line is of 45 degree. A, B, C and D are 45 degree and sum of all of them is 180 degree. Next question is find angle A in the diagram. Find angle A from this diagram and all the three angles, other three angles are given as we know. The complete angle from here to here is 180 degree and from other side it completes 180 degree plus 180 degree is 360 degree. So sum of all these angles equal to 360 degree means A plus 60 degree plus 105 plus 85 equal to 360 degree. In order to find A these terms will move on the other side. And will sign change their sign changed. So sum of all these is 250 and 360 minus 250 is 110 degree. So angle A is 110. Here is another question is find angle A in this diagram as we discussed here sum of all the angles in a straight line is 180 degree so a plus 60 plus 30 equal to 180 degree here will be a value will be 180 degree minus 60 plus 30 is 90 so angle a is 90 degree next question question number three is what is the value of x in the given diagram As we discussed in the lecture 1, vertically opposite angles are equal. These angles are vertically opposite. So, 5x plus 11 will be equal to 2, 3x plus 1. 11 by moving to here. 6x minus 5x. So here 11 minus 2 is 9 and 6x minus 5x is x so x is 9. Next question is what is the value of x in the given diagram as we did discuss previously sum of all the angles equal to 180 degree. So here are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6x six naught equal to 180 degree. This implies that x equal to 30 degree here each angle is of 30 degree and their sum is 180 degree next question is find value of a from the even diagram as here two parallel line and one transversal line and we'll discuss different properties in the part one of this lecture of parallel lines and transversal since these angles are vertically vertical opposite angles so the property as we discussed, vertically opposite angles are equal. Vertically opposite angles are equal. So, B is equal to 80 degree. And we discuss another property. Alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles are those which lies between these two lines. So, According to this property, alternate interior angles are equal, so value of A is 80 degree. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स इज फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स फ्रॉम द गिवन डायग्राम एज दिस इज स्ट्रेट लाइन सो सम ऑफ ऑल द एंगल्स इन द स्ट्रेट लाइन इज इक्वल टू वन एटी डिग्री एंड हेयर इट इज शोन डेट दिस इज राइट एंगल सो दिस एंगल विल बी नाइन्टी डिग्री सो एक्स नॉट इक्वल टू वन एटी डिग्री माइनस नाइन्टी प्लस इज वन टेन डिग्री सो वन एटी डिग्री माइनस वन टेन डिग्री इज सेवेंटी डिग्री सो एक्स नॉट वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स नॉट इज सेवेंटी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन फाइंड वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई हेयर थ्री एंगल्स आर गिवन आउट ऑफ एट हंड्रेड एट एंगल्स सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ पैरल लाइन्स कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग अल्टरनेट इंटीरियर एंगल्स आर इक्वल दीज आर अल्टरनेट इंटीरियर एंगल्स विच आर लाइज बिटवीन द टू लाइन्स सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस प्रॉपर्टी अल्टरनेट इंटीरियर एंगल्स आर इक्वल फ्रॉम दिस वी कैन कैलकुलेट वैल्यू ऑफ वाई सेवन माइनस थ्री इज फोर वाई इक्वल टू फोर्टी दिस एम्प्लाइज डेट वाई इक्वल टू टेन सो नेक्स्ट हाउ टू फाइंड वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एज दीज आर करस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल्स सो अकॉर्डिंग टू प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ पैरल लाइन्स करस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल्स आर ऑलवेज इक्वल सो सेवन वाई इक्वल टू टू एक्स माइनस टेन एज वी नो एज वी कैलकुलेटेड वाई इक्वल टू टेन दिस एम्प्लाइज डेट सेवन इंटू टेन इज सेवेंटी प्लस टेन इज एटी दिस एम्प्लाइज दैट वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इज फोर्टी एंड वैल्यू ऑफ वाई इज टेन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दिस दिस डायग्राम इज गिवन एंड हेयर ऑल्सो इज क्वेश्चन फाइंड वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दीज एंगल्स सिक्सटी एंड ए दीज आर कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू प्रॉपर्टी इज पैर पैरल लाइन्स कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल्स आर इक्वल फ्रॉम हेयर ए इज सिक्सटी डिग्री वैल्यू ऑफ ए इज सिक्सटी डिग्री इफ वी सी दिस पार्ट ऑफ डायग्राम हेयर दिस एंगल इज गिवन एज थर्टी फाइव एंड दिस इज एक्स एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द ट्राइंगल प्रॉपर्टीज एक्सटीरियर एंगल इक्वल टू सम ऑफ इंटीरियर so according to this a is exterior angle and interior angle are 35 degree and x so we know value of a which is 60 degree and we can here we can find as 60 minus 35 which is equal to 25 so value of x is 25 in this question next question question number 9 find value of x in the given diagram and you have to find value of x this is mark Uh, if we see L and M, these are parallel lines, so we can use the property of parallel lines. If we see one fifty and A, these are these are consecutive interior angles. So sum of consecutive interior angle is one eighty degree according to property of parallel lines and transversal. So from here we can find A as thirty degree. If we see this line and this line. and this angle and this complete angle these are alternate interior angles these are alternate interior angle and we discuss in the property of parallel line alternate interior angles are equal so 60 degree and this angle is a plus x and we know the value of x x is 30 degree so we can find a Sorry, here we find we find a in the previous part thirty degree. We put thirty degree here and moving to the left side. Sixty minus thirty is thirty degree. So here value of x in this diagram is thirty degree. Here is another person. You have to find value of x as there is as there are no relationship in this diagram. So we will construct a line at point Q. by drawing this line these lines become parallel so according to the properties this angle and this angle they are consecutive interior angles so sum of consecutive interior angle is equal to 180 degree 
in the right hand side these are consecutive exterior angle so their sum is 180 degree from this we can find value of a and b by moving 180 degree, 120 degree to right hand side a equal to 180 degree minus 120 degree which is equal to 60 degree in order to find value of b 180 degree minus 110 degree which is equal to 70 degree, degree so value of a and b is 60 and 70 degree by using property sum of all the angles in a straight line is equal to 180 degree so sum of angle is a plus b plus x equal to 180 degree so here putting value of x a and b we can find x here x equal to 180 degree minus 70 in 60 180 degree minus 130 degree is 50 degree. So value of x from this diagram is 50 degree. So by using these properties which I discussed in the part 1 of parallel lines and transversal, you can find any unknown angle from the given diagram. Like and share my video and subscribe my channel.